we are going to make our end diagram activity network diagram and after that we are going to schedule our project to get cpm and ultimately cpm is going to define project duration you got my point this is already we have done so keep this thing in uh, your mind that what we are doing today session in details as long as it concerns with this topic activity network we have studied that how to link activities with each other with different kind of relationships finish to start start to start finish to finish and there are predecessor activity successor activity you got my point and today we are going to study that uh, how to interlink different kind of work packages at wbs okay so let's start uh, first we are going to study what is cpm actually CPM stands for critical path method. It is a project management technique in which, uh, which is used to plan and control the task involved in completing the project because we are going to make planning and scheduling. So we want this project to be complete and scheduled in every aspect. You got my point? So that's what control we require actually. So next point, the CPM focus on identifying the longest path sequence of dependent task and measuring the time it will take to complete them. Actually, we have different kind of tasks. Up till now, we have only interlinked activities within one work package. Once we are done with, uh, you know, making a complete activity network diagram of all of our project, then we have different kind of paths. Among those multiple paths, Primavera P6 is going to identify that which one is the longest path technically and having dependent activities which are going to depend on each other that's what we are going to study today to understand what is strategy how to make strategy how people are working how these things will work in the field okay so that longest path will be termed as cpn okay so that is the definition the sequence is known as the critical path and it determines the shortest possible duration that duration which will be defined by critical path method that will be the shortest possible because just focus on the wordings possible okay shortest possible duration for the project once you are going through all the concept these all points you will understand easily so let's start to go through all these points so that we can have clear concept about these things so now interlinking of work packages uh, I will share with you Primavera P6 dashboard. This is our project, 96 kilometer uh, pipeline. Okay. And uh, I will go through slowly, slowly today because uh, a lot of concentration we require. I have already over here, you can see that we have design phase for civil. We have mechanical, we have electrical, we have mechanical design. See? And then detail engineering design, then procurement for bulk items, then long lead items for pipes, instrumentation, mechanical equipment, and then our section one for pipeline, civil works, piping, hydro test, section two, section three, and then we have mechanical equipment, NC, unit, foundation, civil works, installation, connection with pipeline, and all that. Okay. That's what we have already loaded as scope management, and we have interlinked at e each and everything. These all things are interlinked as well. See, only within one work package. Now, every, this piping is work package. This hydro test is work package. Now, I want to link up all these work packages with each other to execute the dependency to understand that this, let me share with you the logic, what I'm going to do. Interlinking of work packages mean basic design, Okay, is actually having link with civil and structural engineering. This is depending on the basic, this one, with this one. See, this one. I will make it more clear so that you people, this work package will be done and it will be linked with the, just give me a moment, with this one. See, with this one. The above one okay you got my point this one so how to make that one just make relationships approval of initial design of civil and structural will be linked with submission of detail engineering design because submission of detail engineering design cannot be done until 
this basic design will be done simple na simple so we have to make this is the interlinking of work packages so what i am going to do i am going to make right click activity details and here uh, this activity is going to have successor click on this button assign and here we are detail engineering design and this see finish to start okay so that's how it will be done so we have to understand this uh, interlinking of work packages and all that one by one and same way mechanical engineering design this activity will be interlinked with the detail engineering design activity see this one so assign here okay and same way my electrical assign detail engineering design where it is this one okay and then mechanical approval and uh, initial design will be interlinked with over here submission okay so what we are actually doing just give me a moment what we are doing actually we are actually making dependency model design basic design with detail in design and detail design for procurement and procurement with construction so we have dependency see this one procurement and then construction once basic design will be done we can proceed uh, for detail engineering design once detail engineering design will be done we can estimate the things for procurement we can order the things and uh, procurement will be started once procurement will be uh, planned properly we can get all the required items on site on time and our construction will be proceed or will be executed as per our plan so that's our mission that is our goal that's what we are going to uh, supposed to do over here okay so one by one actually we have uh, steps to do still so this is done so here I, I i want to make sure you people about the procurement see uh, procurement is not something like uh, you can say that uh, you are done with all of your design once the design will be done this is actually ad hoc and aramco based practice i'm going to share with you people okay so 30 percent design will be done okay then uh, you know 30% uh, procurement the items will be finalized in that portion of design okay the critical items which require on the initial head of your project construction okay you got my point execution so 30% then 60% then 90% then 100% this procurement will be done like this one the 30% design will be done, all the items which will cover in this portion of the design, then this portion of the design, then the, so it will be called as overlapping actually. Design is going like this way and procurement is going like this way. This concept we will we are going to study. Okay, you got my point? We will understand how to make relationship like this is called overlapping actually. So design and overlapping, we are not going to wait that once design will be done like this way, then we are going to start procurement. It will damage our project timeline. See how much time. So this timeline we can make overlap and we can have effective productive output. What my point? So that's how we are going to do. So remember this thing that 30% design will be done. Then we are going to make then 60%, then 90%, then 100%. So now I'm going to share with you Primavera P6. And here we have procurement. Procurement is done. Okay. So RFQ, request for quotation right now, I am going to bulk item steel, okay? So steel is actually uh, linked with our uh, detail engineering design of civil. So issue for construction, when issue for construction is done, so I'm going to make over here, see RFQ. This uh, predecessor, on which activity it is actually depending. So assign my civil, Detail engineering design issue for construction. Okay. And then procurement crush is also same activity for civil. 
detail engineering design make sure everything is very see this one this last activity you know you have to practice step by step no problem at all the spike fittings need to depend on the activities detail engineering design where is detail engineering design this is mechanical engineering see mechanical okay mechanical piping actually mechanical engineering means there are two kind of things mechanical engineering and mechanical equipment so make mechanical piping and all that it's, it's more clear okay and then pipes long lead items sign again it is depending on detail engineering design for mechanical engineering pipings this one and then instrumentation need predecessor it is also depending on mechanical engineering just ded -E where is ded -E so this is the activity as a predecessor and then mechanical equipment rfq is going to depend on detail engineering design for this is the interlinking right so here is the okay see done okay done so that's how you are going to interlink design with procurement and now i am going to share with you this is how we are going to interlink the things but before proceeding further details of this uh, activity network close we will call it closed loop of our project network you know you want to make every single work package to link with another work package but before doing that we need to understand milestone and constraints given in our project contract this is very important to understand this is given in our contract i will be sharing with you people the things how client is going to instruct you people milestones and constraints so you can have an idea that how to link activities or work packages with each other as per your as per your uh, strategy and all that so this next file is going to help you a lot so let me share with you this file just over here and here we are contractual milestones so these are all contractual milestones and just give me a moment right now we are actually having this one so these contractual milestones are uh, contract award is uh, given like in contract it will be given like this project was awarded on this date this project is going to start on this date and design milestone is going to be completed like in within these two months this design will be completed so as per our design we have only two months then preliminary, uh, preliminary design will be for one month and then our uh, you can see uh, detailed design that would be like for next one month and uh, 10 days and then we have major equipment ordering this is equipment ordering deep deadlines that's how i'm i, I want to deliver you people that how a planning engineer from very scratch level can adopt these concept it's not rocket science that you should mix with water and you will drink and it will be all in your veins and blood. No, 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 no. It's a very simple thing. See, this is constraints. This is These are the milestones given by client, consultant. Or even you can sit with your project management team and you can start work like this. Major equipment ordering deadlines are given in contract that I should stop ordering things by this date. This is the deadline to order for procurement of my major equipments which i need to install on my project i i am i i know now the 10th september is the deadline construction when actual construction of the pipeline is scheduled to begin see 20 july okay this is the date actually these are the major things guiding us how to develop our project schedule everywhere it is given so that we can have, uh, have an idea how to structure our project schedule. You got my point? I will help you people step by step. Then start section of pipeline. My construction, this actually every project will be starting first. How to start every project, either it is airport construction project, building, road, refinery, petrochemical, civil works are the primary works. Earthworks are the primary works. So actually by this mean, I need, uh, I mean to say that my civil works are going to start from this. My project is actually starting from this date. 
my design is going to start from this date. Design is the first work pack package. Then my site construction is going to start from, but my pipeline construction will be started from this date. Because if I have my trench is ready, only in that situation, I can lower my pipeline. You got my point? And then this 14th Feb, what is that? The major things, if I have major, you know, golden welding points, I have discussed already with you people because I have um, already uh, completed my significant amount of project and then golden welds, major part of pipeline connections, our building, our road, major milestones will be interconnected on this date. This is my milestone, okay? Then mechanical completion date, when the construction is completed and the system is ready for commissioning, okay? 5th of April. Then commissioning and testing date. So these are the dates and this is the date for the handing over the project. So it's a complete one year's project. You got my point? Everything is there. Now you can, this is maybe a lot of people are thinking that maybe this is very tough. No, no, no. It's very easy. We are given our project contract date, our project start date, our design date. Okay, then our procurement dates, when we are, there is deadline, then our construction date. So it is going to make us project schedule very easy. Now I am going to share with you the second picture of this project to understand. This is our one year project, June 24 to June 25. You got it? Now this is design phase. This project start milestone in June project is going to award. This is preliminary design. And this is our detail engineering design. Procurement, overlapping, it is going to end in September. Ordering, you got it, 10 September was the date when we are going to stop ordering the things. So September. So this is overlapping. Keep, remember this concept in your mind. 10%, 30%, 60%, 90% design. Okay? Make mind mapping and you people are supposed to share that mind mapping with me because this is construction strategy. I want you people to visualize this construction study, how to make on paper before getting on Primavera P6. Got it? Like this way. And then construction, this is my civil works going on, on like this one. And then pipeline. When my trench is ready for these two months, I will be making ready. Maybe my trench is 96 kilometer. Our one section, I'm going to take it as an example because I'm going to work as a section wise. So 34 kilometer. In these two months, I have to do a lot of work, site up offices, set up offices, my car one settings, my team meetings, a lot of work. So in these two months, 